Where the Pelican Builds by Mary Hene Foot, read for LibriVox.org by Angela Brett. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back, by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Pelican Builds by Mary Hene Foot, read for LibriVox.org by Asaf Kos. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words, when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep, when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast. Come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Where the Pelican Builds by Mary Hannay Foote Read for LibriVox.org by Arup Sen The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast, come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pelican Builds by Mary Hene Foot, read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, 
and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures, wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Builds by Mary Hanney Foote Read for LibriVox.org by Ernst Batinama The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures, wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the fort was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back by the sun and the suns devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pelican Builds by Mary Henny Foot. Read for LibriVox.org by Iswa in Belgium in June 2014. The horses were ready, the rails were down but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief and guest. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No draught they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Bills by Mary Hene Foote. Read for LibriVox.org by Florence Short. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. 
They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Hurricane Bills by Ari Henry Foot. With Wimblefox.org by Glen O'Brien. www.glenobrien.net. The horses were ready, the wells were brown, but the wires rang it still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one for granted prayer, and one for grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds the nest. They had told us of pastures white and green, to be sought past the sunset's grow, of rifts in the ranges by opal wit, and gulf near the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No trout they dreaded, no fright they feared, but the pelican builds a nest. The creek at the fort was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains had replenished their thrice since then, and thrice as the rock laying bare. But the walls of hope had flowed and fled, and ever from Blue Hill's breast, come back by the sun and the sands to fold where the pelican builds a nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Builds by Mary Hannay Foot, read for LibriVox.org by Jason Mills. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow, and thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back, by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pelican Builds by Mary Hane Foot. Read for LibriVox.org by Jeannie Whitfield. From traditions in Biloxi, Mississippi. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow, and thirst and hunger were banished words, when they spoke of that unknown west, no drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep, when we watched them crossing there, the rains have replenished it thrice since then, 
and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back, by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pelican Builds by Mary Hannay Foote Read for LibriVox.org by Jenny Meisberger, Gikaba, Washington The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watch them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back, by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Builds by Mary Henney Food. Read for LibriVox.org by Julia Niedermeyer. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No trout they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican built her nest. The creek at the fore was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back, by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Where the Pelican Builds by Mary Hannay Foote Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio the horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit and gold neath the river's flow, and thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. 
the creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there the rains have replenished it thrice since then and thrice has the rock lain bare but the waters of hope have flowed and fled and never from blue hill's breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured where the pelican builds her nest and a poem this recording is in the public domain Bills by Mary Hannay Foot Read for Leibovox Org by Malcolm Fisher of Dover, England Where the Pelican Builds The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We're going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow, and thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared where the pelican builds her nest the creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there the rains have replenished it thrice since then and thrice has the rock laid bare but the waters of hope have flowed and fled and never from blues hill breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pelican Builds by Mary Hene Foot. Read for LibriVox.org by Sky Albatross. The horses were ready, the rails were down. But the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures, white and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow of rifts in the ranges by opal lit and gold neat the river's flow and thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west no drought they dreaded no flood they feared where the pelican builds her nest the creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there the rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Pelican Builds by Mary Hanny Foote Read for LibriVox.org by Tom R. Wilson The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We are going, they said as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow, of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow. And thirst and hunger were banished words, when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep, 
when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare. But the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never from Blue Hill's breast. Come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. By Mary Hanne Foot, read for LibriVox.org by Trotza. The horses were ready, the rails were down, but the riders lingered still. One had a parting word to say, and one had his pipe to fill. Then they mounted, one with a granted prayer, and one with a grief unguessed. We're going, they said, as they rode away, where the pelican builds her nest. They had told us of pastures wide and green, to be sought past the sunset's glow of rifts in the ranges by opal lit, and gold neath the river's flow, and thirst and hunger were banished words when they spoke of that unknown west. No drought they dreaded, no flood they feared, where the pelican builds her nest. The creek at the ford was but fetlock deep when we watched them crossing there. The rains have replenished it thrice since then, and thrice has the rock lain bare, but the waters of hope have flowed and fled, and never the blue hill's breast come back by the sun and the sands devoured, where the pelican builds her nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.